Hi Virgo, welcome to a Halloween reading. Happy Halloween. Thanks for joining me. My name's Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Virgo, let's look on what's happening for you at uh, around Halloween time going into November. Now this could be you. It can be, of course, reversed energy, general reading. So always keep that in mind. But Virgo, let's take a look. We've got the card of nobility here. It's about having honour, high standards, holding yourself to an ideal. So I do feel that there's an energy around this of acting in a way which is for your highest good. That is in really, I get it as your highest self. Not lowering yourself into something here which I feel like is a, it's either vengeful or tit for tat, that kind of energy. The reason why I say that is we've got the card of Alasta here. And Alasta is the strict executioner who carries out the sentences passed down by the rulers of hell. Oh my goodness. The word Alasta may also refer to any avenging spirit or to the personification of wrathful justice. So... If you're angry about something or if someone is angry with you it's how you react to circumstances to something happening here around Halloween it could be an argument something like that now we've got cauldron here so what are you what are you cooking up it feels like trouble to be honest I sense this brew around you a stormy brew it's like a uh, well it, it feels to me like a something that needn't occur making something more than it is bigger than it needs to be and if you act from that place of your higher self with grace with dignity I don't feel that this trouble would uh, would happen but let's see where this goes guys uh, Virgo again could be you it could be someone around you if you're cross watching could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Now I've already meditated on your energy and uh, let's get some cards down. It seems to be around an ending. We've got the Hierophant in reverse. I'm getting a rebellious kind of energy around you. Six of Pentacles in reverse as well. And the Moon so something around this is not as it seems. You, you, there may be a misinterpretation, a misunderstanding. And the Three of Swords, something that has caused hurt, uh, pain. So let's see here, My Virgo, where this goes. We have the Four of Pentacles. Well, there you go. It's a, a feeling here of bottling things up it could be you it could be the other way around but whoever this is it's I get a very strong energy of repressed bottling everything in um, not not giving it's a stubborn energy it's somebody who keeps things to themselves and wants to keep it that way you know I, I get this strong energy of a this person like walling themselves off in like some kind of vault supposedly to keep themselves safe from harm but it feels like pain has gotten into this vault anyway so it just goes to show you that there's something that may something that you've done perhaps withholding keeping something at arm's length, Virgo, hasn't had the desired outcome you wanted. I think you wanted it, you were doing that to avoid pain, but pain has come anyway. Okay, let's see what else we've got. The King of Swords in reverse. So now there's anger. Here we go with the last Oh goodness, yeah. Let's talk about him because I feel that that's a that's definitely King of Swords in reverse energy. He's one of the most terrifying demons. His earliest incarnations all centre in brutal vengeance, 
goodness. Justice and execution. Mm. So it's about being, being, being aware of vengeful actions, taking care not to let justice bleed into cruelty for the sake of anger. So yeah, cruelty, cruelty, uh, because you're angry at someone. I feel like this is somebody who didn't, uh, honestly, it feels like somebody who's blowing something up. Perhaps out of proportion, but let, let's see where this goes, guys. King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's that anger. Angry, angry, angry. It feels like... Something, I'm getting this from Spirit... Somebody's plan, their plan didn't work. Virgo, whether that's you or the other person, the, their plan didn't work. They had a plan of withhold, okay, they had a plan of withholding. And somehow they thought that this was going to get them what they wanted. Not taking action. But it's, it's backfired, okay, justice in reverse, yeah, and now this, now Virgo, it could be you uh, here as well that feels uh, like this has been an injustice. But again, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not picking up anything major, let's see what the other person's doing here. The page of cups in reverse. Okay. Okay, it, it feels like it feels like somebody was giving I don't know, I'm getting this. I feel like somebody was giving advice to act in a certain way. I think that they said something like I'm getting this from spirit don't give to that person make sure you you keep them at arm's length there's something here which was I, I feel sabotaged a relationship was sabotaged but i feel it was because of an outside influence but let, let's continue here guys yeah the ace of pentacles there's still something here I feel like there was a lot of potential for growth with this relationship, prosperity, something that was a very solid foundation. The challenge here, the Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, walking something back, returning to this, but, but doing things a different way. I feel like somebody here was trying to control the situation, control their, uh, the amount of, let's just say, uh, I'm trying to think of the word here. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of like when you, you open yourself up for, uh, well, we all have to open ourselves up for, for love, right? But we know that as a result of ourselves opening up, we, we could potentially feel pain because we could get hurt. But this person decided to control this by controlling their amount of... Goodness, I, I wish I could think of the word. Guys, if you can think of the word, on, I know that you know it. Put it down in the uh, descriptions box for me because that's driving me crazy. It's like insurance, you know? Goodness, yeah, it's gone, it's gone. But it, it feels like somebody who is trying to build insurance into their life as to not get hurt. Yeah, the Five of Swords, and there was they self-sabotaged, the hangman, yeah. They, oh goodness, this person 
sabotage this relationship. <sighs> By acting in this way. Now this could be self-imposed anger guys. If it's not anger directed outward to another person it could be self-imposed anger because I do feel that whatever this plan was it backfired massively and I, and I feel like there's also somebody here that was saying yeah yeah do that do that. Uh, they, they were saying that that was the best thing to do but I feel like they were also sabotaging this for some reason let's see what the outcome is the ace of swords yeah there's a massive realization here that virgo whether it's you or the other person they went about this all wrong all wrong and now there may be anger directed inward and also possibly at an outside source as well for uh, it could be this king of actual okay okay it's this king of swords it's this person whoever this is i feel it was someone of a friend a family member extended family male or female possibly an air sign gemini libra aquarius Somebody who directed you down this path, if this is you, Virgo, or if this, if, the, if this is the other person, then it's someone around them that directed them down this path. Yeah. Which was the wrong way to, to handle this situation. I feel like they, they tried to control the amount of vulnerability and they treated someone very unfairly it could have been you Virgo that was treated unfairly here because of the other person receiving some bad advice about uh, how to conduct themselves in this relationship yeah it feels like people here getting together cooking up this plan it could be this okay it's it's these two the King of Wands and the King of Swords getting together possibly over some brews I mean cauldron right brew over some brews saying oh yeah treat this don't don't treat that person like that treat them it's kind of like um, you know how some uh, some people think that you have to treat the other person badly in order to get them to to uh, to chase you it feels like that but it, it's this has backfired massively yeah they, and and now they're now these two here may uh, there may be anger between these two because this this seems to have blown up but the the reality is that Virgo whether this is you or the other person I do feel that there's now a realization of what's happened here and this other person I think was uh, was innocent uh, maybe maybe a little bit naive perhaps uh, too trusting and has been hurt by the two of these people planning this I really hope that this wasn't a plan to hurt someone. Goodness. Because I feel like the the, uh, the person who was the, I'm going to say quote unquote victim here, though I don't like to use that term, but the person who was affected by this plot is a very noble person. is actually this this person's ideal partner the ace of pentacles and there's a realization now that, that that you can't treat someone like this with this uh, with this injustice they're, they're not going to, to have it they're not going to put up with it so i feel like the i feel like whoever the the noble person is has walked away with their head held high 
and is certainly not going to engage with whatever this is. Yeah, some kind of um, vengeful plot that's been cooked up here. Goodness gracious. Let's have a look at that Ace of Swords as the outcome. Yeah, the moon. These could be two men. Two men. The reality is that there may have been, a, they may have both liked the same female. That could be you, Virgo. That's for some of you. I'm getting that. It's like a, a duel, you know, a duel to the death between these two. Some kind of competition of who has like the better partner. Very immature behavior by this pair, by the way. Uh, they're, they're not a very, <laughs> actually, if you're the female here, neither one of these are very good. I'd, I'd throw them both out in the trash heap because they're, well, they're, they're very vindictive, nasty people, uh, aggressive even. Uh, they don't seem to, th there's no sensitivity here with these people. They seem to be vengeful on the world in general. Very entitled couple of, of blokes, I mean, that's what I'm going to call them. So I would say if, if you're the, if you're the feminine here and you've been treated unfairly by someone, you've walked away with your head held high leave these two to, to sit over their brews and cook up another plan with somebody else because I feel like the truth is going to come out here about what's gone on here between this this pair I have a feeling that they're going to have a falling out over this because one person here has lost out on a, a fantastic opportunity with this ace of pentacles and let's see what this uh, moon and the ace of swords yeah, the Emperor. Someone's going to man up. One of these people is going to man up here and, uh, and make a mature decision. After having, I'm picking it up as like a tower moment. That this has ended. Let's have a look at uh, Justice in Reverse. Near yeah, Death in Reverse. Hmm. Yeah, somebody didn't want this to end, but it has ended as a result of this wacky plot that these two cooked up. I've got them as friends. Friends. They're friends, but they both like you. Virgo, if you're the feminine here. These two both like you. But they're friends. Okay. Not for long, I don't think. Yeah, because one of these people you were seeing, I feel it's ended, but they didn't want it to end. It, it's had the, the opposite effect. This plot that they had had the opposite effect. Yeah, we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse and Eight of Cups in reverse. The challenge now is to get this back on track after somebody giving up I feel like the feminine here has walked away from this after uh, being treated very un unjustly and let's take a look at the five of swords yeah ten of pentacles in reverse they've blown a, um, a great opportunity to have uh, I mean it feels like prosperity it feels like something long term uh, and I feel like there was some, some envy and jealousy between these two. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, they said well, uh, there was some kind of plot here. Oh, uh, the two of these people got together and said, don't, don't give that person anything. Withhold. Don't show your emotion. Don't be too open. Well, this is the result. It's backfired massively let's get a, a Guillermo del Toro card for this reading message for Virgo what does Virgo need to hear the good news is that somebody here is going to realize what's gone on whoever this is now I don't know when 
but the light bulb is going to go off at some point. Realized they went about this all wrong and they got some bad advice. Yeah, the three of cups here, guys, it, it feels like friends, friends getting together over brews, talking about this and how and, and how to treat someone. And I feel like they were advised to treat to uh, treat possibly you, Virgo, here uh, badly because of I don't know why. It, it it just seems a little bit nuts, doesn't it? They may have had some kind of belief that you're better than them. You may have intimidated them in some way. They wanted to take you down a few pegs. Something like that, guys. Mm. Your choice, whether or not, I don't know. It seems like this person hasn't fully given up on this. So you may get this person coming back. I don't feel it's around Halloween. I think that they'll have to let this kind of blow over a bit because this is, um, it's not going to be easy to get you back on track here, Virgo, after being treated in this way. You know, very Treated very unfairly. Uh, wishing you the best with this, uh, Virgo. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I also have a new Etsy shop, so if you have an Etsy account, you can purchase a uh, directly on that. The link is down below in the description box for the Etsy shop. If you, of course, um, if you wouldn't mind uh, liking, sharing, and subscribing, I'd love to have you. And uh, if you could leave me a comment, even if it's just to say hi, uh, whatever you want to say there is great uh, happy halloween doesn't matter and uh, just leave me some kind of comment down there that way i can uh, get some more uh, uh, focus on me eyes on on the readings here on youtube i tend to get a bit lost in the shuffle i've been doing this for a few years now but uh, it's a struggle for me it's a, it's a tough thing you know i, I don't get a whole lot of new subscribers because i don't really get eyes on the the thing so if you could let people know where to find me that would be fantastic and of course if you'd like ways of supporting my channel you can click on the join button below and join my band of gypsies wishing you the best with this virgo uh, happy halloween please take care and i'll see you again very soon